Join us as we take a look at one of the scenes that will cement Anakin as the Chosen One. Fresh off the press with the 25th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars Darth Maul Sith Infiltrator. Infiltra infil infiltrator. We gotta talk about that box art. That's some sweet box art. With okay. The 25th anniversary, the dual sons, the Sith Infiltrator just careening across the screen like that. This is Lego set 75383, as he said, it's the Sith Infiltrator. We've seen one from the 1999 to From now. the 1999? 1999. Okay, look, at, look how bad now. this is getting. I honestly, it looks the same, but I mean, obviously- What? I, it's how dare you? The minifigs that came with this set, there were four of them, starting off Good with job. young Annie. He's in his brown <laughs> shorts. <laughs> <laughs> what? He has brown clothes that you saw on Tatooine. Okay. He has like, like long hair and he's kind of like a happy face and a whoo face. <laughs> <laughs> a spear like flies right <laughs> over his head yeah. and he poops his pants. <laughs> then you've got Qui-Gon. This Qui-Gon is a pretty detailed Qui-Gon. I've seen other iterations of him that have the poncho like this. The he original looks one. looks weird without the hair <laughs> on though. <laughs> He laid down. <laughs> Their original one had the brown cape. This one does not. He has a poncho because he actually had, if you actually watch the show, he has a poncho on. But he's obviously in his Jedi clothes, his brown shorts, because he put his pants too. And he's got he a green lightsaber. Over. He did. And he's got two faces too. One kind of happy and one like, oh my goodness, he almost died. And they can drop. <laughs> Now this one, the one that gets me is Darth Maul. This is a good looking Darth Maul because it's the newer version. He's got the head that comes off, you take it off. It's just a normal Darth Maul. Or you have his little spiky headpiece. He's in his black Sith um, attire with his double bladed red lightsaber. The only problem is in the show, he is wearing a show. The movie, he's wearing a cloak and he has a cape. This is the one that needs a cape. It is sad that he's missing. He's missing everything. This is like what he verses in Obi Wan in the clones. That's what he looks like. It's just, just, mm -hmm. just him. And then you get the special character, the exclusive character, Saul Guerrero. He is in his green like power armor, basically. That's what it is. <laughs> okay, he's got his cool little cape, his staff of raw. <laughs> I don't know what it is. His staff, his which, cane. Which makes me sad because. I don't think we're going to be getting any of the anniversary to Rogue One. You, nev Rogue. you never know, but I, got, I do also got to say he has a double face. He's more of a face where he's just kind of mad and mad. <laughs> and on to the Sith Infiltrator, which by far is the most updated version that we have specifically. We only have three versions of them, the original, the second, and this one. Apparently there's like a billion, so I don't know how much more updated this is compared to the other two versions that were missing. So you have three probe droids that scout all throughout the sea. I think they're just probe droids, right? They don't explode or anything. Yeah. It's been a while since I've seen the movie. But yes, you have three little We just saw the movie like a month ago. You also have Darth Maul's speeder bike, which is a lot more slender than the first iteration. It also has chrome pieces for the handlebars and the spot where the handlebars go, which I think is pretty cool. Now, I gotta say one thing though about these. The, the original speeder bike was a lot cooler in my opinion. They just did not give him justice on the speeder bike. This was like a little moped. He's like driving like in France. He He's riding like a tiny little, the speeder bike is really small on him. Okay, that one's better, okay? And the probe droids, I guess the probe droids are really cool compared to the other ones, because the other one's just a head with a joystick. <laughs> <laughs> and now you have the Sith infiltrator the exterior is a lot more detailed than the previous iterations that we have but you also have landing gear which i like it doesn't do much when you set it down the landing gear can actually sit with its feet up you also have the folding wings that allow it to fly and then land which i've always loved about that i could just do that for hours just flip them open put them closed flip them open put them closed the coolest part about this ship is the open cockpit here. You have an interior light, so that way when he's flying at night, he can see where he's going. And you have a nav computer, very detailed. And before I forget, you also have a spot for the probe droids to go. They go up through here, you can reset them in there. And then when you press this little lever down here, when you press this little lever down here, 
when you press this little lever down here, oh, look at that, it opens up and releasing the probe droids to go search out all the Jedi and the chosen one. So from the first version of this ship, obviously it's more blocky as it should be because Lego wasn't designed that great, I guess. We don't count the first versions of it's anything. Still cool. They're always 10 out of 10. This one's great too. We found this one in our pile. It looks very similar, but it we don't know which set this is. I, there's no figures. There's nothing. We just have this ship. This ship. I don't know where we got it. From. We looked at Google. We saw all the other ones. We did not see this one, but it has like the exact same thing almost. It's just like I broke in. This ship doesn't exist. If you can it's tell us lopsided. which set this is, we would love you forever because we can't find it. Okay, but I want to know one thing. This has the same hatch on the top almost. It's now time to see where this sucker falls on the stud scale. It's not is a stud the, scale. Is it the stud scale? It's the brick scale. It's the brick score, oh, Jesse. It's the brick score. I How don't know what never... that is. First up on the brick score, we have the build. That's 640 pieces. It took me roughly 50 minutes to build. Honestly, throughout the whole thing, if you had told me I was building a Venonator, I would have believed you because until the very end, it looked like I was just building a Venonator. But I'm gonna go ahead and give this a three out of five. On to the minifigs. I've gotta say, it does come with some cool ones, but we've seen them all in the past. I mean, honestly, I've seen the exact ones. It seems like they haven't really changed in my honest I opinion. That's what I was gonna say. The Saw Guerrero kinda is the reason Probably. why you would get this set. So I'm going to give it only a three out of five. It's because I just feel like the minifigs are very similar to the last iterations of the, of the set. Being that this set costs 70 US dollars, I'm gonna go ahead and rate it a three out of five because it's one that we've had multiple iterations of. You could definitely wait on this. <clears throat> my, my, oh, my. One of my <clears throat> favorite, <clears throat> stop it. One of, my <laughs> One of my favorite things is the playability, and it does come with some figures you can play with. It's got... <laughs> what <Wow>, Darth Maul? <laughs> it's got Darth Maul and Qui-Gon. You can make them fight, duel it out. You can put Sagra on there. It's up to you on how you want to do it. So I will give it a 4 out of 5 for playability because it has a ton that you can do. <laughs> This set though is necessary for your Star Wars collection because it is a 25 year anniversary. We're just saying that you can wait. You don't have to go in there and panic buy to get this set, but don't let it expire off the shelf. You need it for your collection because of the 25 year anniversary thing. But as always, we thank you guys for watching. Let us know what you guys think in the comments down below and we'll see you next time.